Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some project shares for KS Craft. Uh, Anna sent me the dies from the August 2024 release. There's so many great dies here. Lots of Christmas, a few back to school. Uh, I did make some Christmas projects, so I wanted to come on and share with you what I've been working on. I'll have more projects in the month to come, but um, yeah, let's get started. I'll, I will link all of the dies down below in the description box on KS Crafts Alley. Express store. If you're interested in purchasing, go ahead, click on that link. It's a non-affiliate link. It's just there for your convenience. So yeah, let's get started. All right. The first die set I want to show you is the 2024 poinsettia flowers. So this comes with both of these die plates and it's nice that they're on plates because then you don't lose the pieces. You can cut out multiple uh, pieces at, at once. So it comes with this, this one here has more of the leaf look. Uh, there's veining on each leaf. There's five leaves on each flower. There are two small, two medium, and two large. And then on this one, this is more designed to be the flower part of the poinsettia. So there's one, two, three, three of each again. Uh, but when I think of poinsettias, I usually think of them as having the veining like this. And I'm pretty sure poinsettias, uh, they're mostly just leaves anyway, even the colored parts. Uh, I did make some with the flowered dye, but most of them I just use the, the, the veined uh, dies. So let me show you the first ones I made using the regular flower dies. And this is one of them. I just made two. And I used the smaller flowers and then the smaller leaves. And I really like how they came out. I think they're so pretty. I use green paper for the for the leaf, for the leaves. And you can see, I think, that there's some veining in there. Let me just hold it up a little bit. Yeah, so it looks really, really nice. And then I did some flower shaping too to get the poinsettia leaves to just, you know, like kind of curl outward like that. And I used some white paper with gold, gold foil polka dots on it for the flower itself. And then I just glued one of those little gold balls that you can get at Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. They probably have them right now in the Christmas craft section. So that's what those look like. This one, I used three of the different flowers. I used one small and two medium. And this one, I just used one small and one medium. And I, I like it better how it looks like this, a little bit fuller. So let me measure these for you. Again, these are the small background leaves. And these, this one, let's say the, mm, I guess like that would be the best way to measure. It's about a one and a half inches. So it's a nice manageable size for a flower. And I think they're beautiful. You can use, you know, any kind of paper you want, but I just wanted to go with this. You could use red or pink for a more authentic look. And then, like I said, I made some with just the leaf plate die. So this is one of those. And I did add some stickles on the edge, actually not stickles. I used some, some wet glue and then I coated it with some uh, loose glitter and I used that on the center too. So I really like the shape of the petals. You can see like these are smoother and these are more like leaves and there is that veining inside. So I, I don't know, I just think it looks more poinsettia-like to me. So that's why I did that. So this is a red one. Actually, you know what? I think I used, this is probably the medium yeah, this must be the medium leaf plate or leaf die. And then this is the small one here. Yeah, sorry about that. Medium and small. So the small one would be, let's see, that's a little bit over an inch, maybe an inch and an eighth. So you can see the size difference there. And then I made another one of the small ones like that with just some glitter in the middle. And I also made some larger ones, and I love how these look too. So this is one of the larger ones. Isn't that gorgeous? I added the, the glitter again, and then one of those, those gold balls in the center. And I used three different, si well, yeah, three different sizes of the, the leaf dies to construct the flower, and then the largest one for the, for the leaves at the back of that. And I just think this is a lovely flower, a little bit of flower shaping, didn't take long to do. This is about two inches long, so this will be perfect to put on uh, projects for Christmas. I made another one that looks just like that right there. And then I made some pink ones as well for more like pastel projects. This one I put like a flat back, kind of a clear gem on the inside. And then the, the paper I use for the leaves is a little bit more aqua than this one. So this is more traditional colors and this is more for like pastel projects. And then here's another one with the gold ball. This one I did not add glitter just so you could see what it looks like without the glitter. And you could always come back and add glitter 
uh, when it's on a project and there's one that looks just like this. So I think these are beautiful. I really like how the veining looks on the pink. You can see it really well. It does cut into the paper, which, uh, you know, adds a nice effect, but it doesn't separate, you know, it doesn't like pull off the leaves or anything. So I thought that was really nice. You could even shape it with that veining in there and it, it just worked fine. So those are my poinsettia flower projects. I think they came out really, really pretty. And uh, it'll be nice to have these on hand when I'm doing Christmas projects, just ready to go, you know? All right, so there are those. And then, oh, I love this die set. I think I told you when I showed all of the dies in this release that I couldn't wait to make these. These are called the Tiny Present Boxes. So it comes with three different boxes, three different shapes, and I made one of each, I'll show you. These are ribbons you can put over them, and there's even embossed lines in there to show you exactly where to fold them over the, over the box. Here are extra ribbons, and these have uh, stitching detail inside. And then all these embellishments you could put on the top of your box or use them for other projects. There's a cute little gingerbread man with embossed detail, a couple of leaves, three pieces to make a nice bow so it's nice and dimensional. And then there are two flowers, a smaller one and a larger one. I mean, well, I call them flowers, use them together, but you can use these as separate pieces as well. And then there are two other leaves here too. So it comes with a lot of fun um, dies. So here's the larger one or the longest one, I guess. And look how cute that is, right? Uh, very easy to come together. If you use double-sided paper, then when you, if you want to open it up, you could see it inside. So I used that small flower, those two dies to make a flower. And I put a little yellow diamond dot on the center of that. I cut out a couple, couple of the leaves and I used some doodle bug paper. If you could see, it's like tone on tone red. And I think I have this one so it will open up. Yeah, it just kind of opens on the bottom because if I put the ribbon over the top, then you wouldn't have been able to open it. So let's see with my nails here. There we go. So it does open up and mine has a little uh, Santa print on the other side. I should have put it this way. So, you know, it looked correct when you took the uh, top off, but it's just a cute little surprise. You can add like, you know, little beads or um, like wire wrap beads or something as a little present. So it's so cute. Let's measure this one. This one's about one and three eighths inches long. And then height, it's about half an inch. And then side to side, it is about an inch. So just a cute little box. I, I just love it. And then the smaller rectangular one looks like this. And I did put one of the little gingerbread man embellishments on there. I cut that out of almond cream basil paper, which is my favorite for gingerbread. I used one of those stitched ribbon pieces to go over the top and I like I like the stitch detail there. So really cute. I, I did pop up the gingerbread on a little piece of dimensional tape just to raise it up a little bit. This one opens too. Um, let's see. All right, we're not going to be able to open that. I guess I glued it shut, but I did use some Nouveau drops on the gingerbread man as little um, buttons on his front. Even diamond dots were a little bit too big for him. So really cute, right? Let me measure him. He is, let's see, an inch and hmm, maybe three sixteenths. And then let's see, side to side, he is about seven, no, a mm, little over three quarters of an inch. And then height wise, it's about between three eighths and four eighths, between three eighths and a half an inch. So cute and tiny little box. So there's both of those. And then I made one of the square ones too. And that's this. I used that, that pretty bow die that comes with it. So there are three different pieces. So I, I love how it gives it some dimension. And then this one, I just used some red and white striped paper. It does open as well. Let me measure this one. This guy is about seven eighths side to side. And well, it's a square, but then height wise, it is almost half an inch. So very cute little boxes. And these are perfect if you want to make a 3D Christmas tree, which is my next project I wanted to share with you. So this is called the, let's see, let me get the right name for you. The, yeah, 3D Christmas tree. So it comes with all of these pieces. You'll see that there, I think there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight pieces that make up the, the tree. Um, and then there's, this is the like skirt of the Christmas tree, which is so nice to have. It's a pretty circle with scallop detail, eyelet scallop detail, and then a separate layering piece that's stitched. Nice to have in your stash. And then a star for the top of your tree, which you can, you know, double it up so it's double-sided. And then these pieces, which I didn't use, these you can use to cut out strips and then 
glue them together to form a circle to like kind of make the trunk of the tree. But I wanted to figure out another way to make a trunk of a tree. So I just use like uh, a candy stick and let me show you my tree. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. I think it came out adorable. So for the tree itself, for each piece, they, they, they go in graduating sizes from the smallest one to the largest one. So I used like darker aqua shimmer paper and lighter, lighter paper and just alternated them. And see that pink stick there? A straw was a little bit too thick for my hole punch. So if you have because what I did was I punched a hole in each of the discs and then I put the stick through them and the the hole that I used it was a smaller one on the uh, crocodile on the crocodile big bite so that way this candy stick fit it fit into it but not too loosely so the pieces would slide they just kind of like stay right where I put them so that's what I did um, I thought I tried to use these pieces and you know like I said, glue them together on each end and make a circle, but it, it was just not working out for me. So I thought, all right, I'm going to find another way to do it. And that's how I did that. And then I glued them into like this uh, cabochon, which is like an ice cream cup, and then glued that onto the tree skirt, which is so cute, I think. So let me take a measurement of this. And there's the star on top, just to show you that. It's such a cute little project. I think it'll be great as, you know, like on a vignette or something. So the tree itself, the way I made it is, let's see, not even four inches, maybe three and three quarters. And then side to side, the biggest part of the Christmas tree is about about three and a half inches and the circle is let's measure that for you there's some hot glue on there sorry about that let's see that's about four and a quarter inches so it's really really cute yes let me get rid of that string and just a fun little project and the presents look adorable underneath it let me just show you that right isn't that cute just a fun little scene. You can put, make it any color you want. I think this will look so cute on a little tiered tray. Hannah showed on her video, she like glued it to the top of a gift box. And I thought that was just like a spectacular way to present a gift. But um, for, for me, it'll just be a, a cute little piece of decor, I think. So yeah, isn't that adorable? And I did put some glue on the edges of each part of the, of the greenery of the tree again I used no this one I think I used stickles I used diamond stickles on this just to sparkle it up a little you could add like garlands or ornaments whatever you want to do so I might go ahead and do that but I just want to show you what it looks like just barely decorated just with some glitter and then of course with the cute presents underneath so those are my first projects from the August release. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will be back with more projects, of course. And um, thank you again for watching. All of the dies will be linked below in the description box. All right, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll be back soon. Bye.